One of the Burlington Waterfront's signature destinations is getting an expensive upgrade just in time for the summer months that will greatly reduce emissions in the Queen City. Local 44 Seven Bates was aboard the spirit of Ethan Allen earlier today. He joins us now in studio with more on this. What can you tell us, Devin? Well, Glenn, the four diesel engines that have pushed the spirit of Ethan Allen around Lake Champlain have been in use since World War II, and they'll be on their way out next month, taking with them 457 tons of diesel emissions. It was all made possible by the largest diesel emissions reduction grant ever awarded in Vermont. With a focus on reducing pollution in Lake Champlain, the spirit of Ethan Allen is getting over a quarter million dollars in grant money from the EPA to replace four diesel engines that have long passed their heyday. These are World War II. These were originally in PT boats. We had one time uh, years ago, a gentleman came on board and he said, I know those engines. He was on a PT boat and he slept next to these engines uh, for a year in the Pacific. The engineering crew had to cut holes in the floor to get them up out of the engine room, and that's nothing compared to the work that will go into getting them off the boat when the new engines come in next month. It's going to be a all day adventure. We're bringing in a um, several thousand ton FMC crane. We're going to have to set that up out there. These engines here, our main generators are going to weigh about 5,700 pounds. The Detroit diesel engines have no environmental regulations, so as part of the grant, they have to be put out of commission by drilling a three-inch hole in the engine block. Easier said than done for head engineer Wilson Tucker, who said it's kind of bittersweet to see them go. We worked on them all night, sometimes three days straight, just so we don't miss trips. They're my girls. I mean, you got Daisy, Thelma, Louise, Lulu sitting over there in the corner. I mean, I've named them all because they all have their own personality. Their replacements are estimated to cut 457 tons of diesel emissions and 437 tons of carbon dioxide, the equivalent of 17 tractor trailers. It's good to see them go. Uh, I'm sure our engineering staff will have new names for the new girls and uh, life will be better for everybody that surrounds the spirit of Ethan Allen. So we're doing our part. And the new engines meet strict emission standards and they're expected to have everything ready by May 1st when operations begin for this year. The Vermont Diesel Emissions Reduction Program has provided more than $3.2 in grant money since 2008. Live in studio, Devin Bates, Local 44 News.